What is up? Wildlings Colin here, Wild Foods founder and CEO. I just want to do a quick chat on our YouTube or and or our email, wherever you're seeing this. I want to do a quick chat about the importance of real food. This is not one of those videos that's going to be very SEO friendly or you, you know, YouTube is probably not going to pick it up. For those of you that have been following along with us or me or anything, you know that I'm a big proponent of buying real raw as close to nature as possible ingredients and then taking them in your kitchen and preparing your food yourself. That is pretty much the key, the epicenter of health and longevity. It would solve 99% of the health problems that we have in our world today. It would basically reverse heart disease, cancer, diabetes, all these things, Alzheimer's, all of these diseases that are a byproduct of our mismatched modern environment. If people just got the toxic food out of their lives, the grains, the sugar, the, the sodas, like the seed oils, the things that, I, I mean, people still eat somehow. I, I mean, I'm so far removed from it, but they do. They The masses still eat this food and it's not necessarily their fault. There's millions and millions of dollars every year spent on food lobbying to keep the food system the way it is. It's corrupt, it's broken, it's backwards. So I just wanna give you a gentle nudge, a reminder, focus on the basics. Every single health goal that you wanna achieve, if you wanna look better, feel better, compete in a sport, if you wanna live a long time, if you wanna put off those modern diseases that maybe your mom or dad had or your grandfather or, or runs in the family, you are not destined to die an early death from preventable diseases. So don't convince yourself of that, that's number one. The number two thing is, it's it's a scale, right? So if you have eating perfect on this end, whole real foods, you never eat at restaurants, you don't buy packaged crap, and then you have on this end, you eat at McDonald's every day and you're drinking soda, right? If you have these different ends of the spectrum and every decision you make is gonna move you for closer or further away from a different end of the spectrum. And if you're watching this, you obviously wanna be on the health end of the spectrum. This is gonna be the health, this is gonna be the best. Every decision you make on a daily basis takes you one step forward or away from where you wanna be. Think about that and don't fall into this all or nothing mentality. You have to have some perfect diet or whatever. Humans are gonna eat junk food. It's gonna happen. It's not like, get over it. It's not a big deal, okay? The key is don't let it perpetuate itself. There's this quote by uh, the guy who wrote uh, Alchemist, um, Paulo Cahello or whatever his name, Cahello. When you repeat a mistake, it becomes a decision. If you cheat and you don't feel good about yourself and you're, you know, you, you give in, whatever, and then you use that as a way to convince yourself that you can do it again and again and again, because, oh, well, I ruined today, or I ruined this month, or I ruined this week. Toxic mindset, toxic mindset, okay? So what you wanna do, you want to think about as a scale, step forward or step back. Everything you put in your mouth, every decision to stay up late or to, to, to not sleep in, or to not exercise or to not go outside is gonna move you either closer to the health end of the spectrum or closer to the sickness end of the spectrum. So when you start thinking about every decision you make, in terms of it being in a vacuum, its own thing, rather than them all being connected, then you don't have a lot of that negative self-talk and that all or nothing mindset. And just a lot of the things that humans do to trick themselves to eat foods that aren't good for us, like and do things that aren't good for us. Like we live in an environment that's mismatched our biology. It's hard. I'm not pretending any of this is easy, but you can shape your behavior by shaping how you think about things. And so this is just a general nudge reminder about how to think about your food, your health, your nutrition, and to think about the decisions you make in a way that is, you've made this decision, the only thing you can now do is move forward. And so what is the next step gonna be? Is the next step gonna be forward? Is the next step gonna be backwards? Or is the next step gonna be forward to this end? Cause that's where I pointed earlier. And the sick end of the spectrum over here with the with the fake food and, and the not moving and, and all the bad things that you know you're not supposed to do. What are you gonna do next? Are you gonna step this way? Or are you gonna step that way? That's a short video. I plan on doing a lot more on the Wild Foods channel. We're going to reactivate it for 2020 to help people get healthy, buy real raw foods, prepare them at home. That's the wild mission. We want to help 50 million people do just that and say no to big pharma, bad science, and the corrupt food system that is now the uh, unfortunate. It is the rule rather than the exception. So let's reverse those trends. Join us in this mission. I'm Colin Stuckert, and I'll see you in the next one.